today on Be Something Wonderful, how to suspend disbelief. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email this morning from one of our subscribers that said, Tom, I know that you, you mentioned that belief is the creative act, but my question is, how do I believe? I'm really struggling with how to believe it. Well, guys, we're going to unpack this today and more. And here's what I want to say. Here's the big point that I want to say. We know now that we are consciousness, that all there is is that pure consciousness, that pure positive energy that is God, that source, right? That's first cause. We are born of God, right? We are made of that same consciousness, that same fabric that, that made the planets and the universe and earth and everything in it. So we're made of that. that. And that pure consciousness, or what they call the quantum field, includes everything there is, was, or ever be. It includes all possibilities. Everything's possible in the quantum field or in that consciousness or that unconditioned consciousness of God. It includes all possibilities, all realities. If that's true, and it is, <laughs> then then we are one with that consciousness, then what we're made of then all possibilities. We're made of belief. That's who we are. Hear this. There's no law of disbelief. It doesn't exist. We make that up. We decide to stop believing. Hear this. There's only the law of belief. The law of belief says you see it because you believe it. Right? If God stopped thinking of us, we wouldn't exist. God believes us. He thinks of us, and that's why we're here. When you, you see it because you believe it, right? There's only consciousness. There's only pure positive energy. There's only that essence of infinite possibilities or the quantum field of which everything comes and, and of which everything is made, from, which, from where everything comes and of which everything is made. So impossible doesn't exist. Everything is potential. And potential is belief by definition. It's believing that all things are possible because all things are possible. That's what it is. It is love. That love is consciousness. That consciousness is belief in all possibilities. Nothing exists apart from your thought or belief in it. Everything is united, in, is united and is in a united whole. So everything is one. Wow, this is big. Let's unpack this a little bit more because this is big today. So it's not about trying to believe. It's about suspending disbelief. Hear this. It's about suspending disbelief. Have fun with this. Right? Pretend disbelieving doesn't exist because it doesn't. There's only the law of belief. Right? Allow yourself to believe that something is true even though it seems impossible. That's what suspending disbelief is. Allow yourself. It's allowing. Right? You're getting into the allowing state. Because remember, you're made of pure potential. You're made of that same substance. That means you're made of infinite possibilities, infinite probabilities. You're made of the same stuff, right? Allow yourself to believe that something is true even though it seems impossible. That's what it means by suspending disbelief. Allow yourself to believe the unbelievable. Why? Because you're made of the unbelievable. You're, you are made of all possibilities. You are made of all probabilities. You come from the same stuff. Believing is allowing. What are you allowing? Everything and anything to be created. Right? Believe this. Right? When you dis disbelieve, you strongly, you, you strongly identify, identify with, with your current reality. That's why when you, believe, when you disbelieve in anything, anything, you're strongly identifying with your current reality. You're becoming frozen in that current reality. Right? That keeps your current reality in place. This limits your awareness in perception of the infinite number of alternative parallel rea realities available to choose from in the quantum field of consciousness. Hear this. When you disbelieve, because there is no disbelief, there's only a law of belief, but when you do disbelieve, you strongly identify with your current reality. This limits your awareness and perception of the infinite number of alternative parallel rea realities available to choose from in the quantum field of consciousness. Wow! That's big. Let's unpack that a little bit more. So, 
So you cannot see the infinite field of possibilities while trapped in disbelief. You can't see it, right? Remember, you see it because you believe it, but if you have disbelief, you can't see the infinite field of possibilities of which you are made and from where you come while trapped in disbelief. Only if you are above something can you become objectively aware of it. You're, you're, you're stuck in, re you're trapped in the reality in that reality that you believe in. But that's what it means by rising in consciousness. Consciousness rises above everything because consciousness includes everything, right? But you have that ability to be above it and objectively aware, be aware of it. The reason your current reality continues to exist or perpetuate itself is because of your disbelief in other possibilities. Hear this. This belief really keeps you locked and frozen in your current reality, right? Remember, source is first cause. The miracle of consciousness is in its power to rise above everything else. That's the miracle of consciousness, right? Because it includes everything else. The miracle is to become aware, right? To be able to become aware that you can, that you, that you can rise in consciousness and become aware of everything. That's what we're talking about here. With your awareness, you can rise above one reality you are identified with and see others. Wow, that's big. You are consciousness. So what else? Creation is finished. Neville Goddard said this, right? All potential realities exist now as possibilities. You choose what potential to experience by what you believe and disbelieve. We've talked a little bit about this in other videos, right? But you choose. How do you choose? But by what you believe or disbelieve. If you're in disbelief, you're choosing. What are you choosing? You're choosing to not see all the other potential infinite possibilities. Wow, that's big, right? You can cross over to a new parallel reality. You're doing it all the time, subtly. You're, we're constantly crossing over into other parallel realities by the way we feel, our mood swings, right? Sets us on a different parallel re reality. We go down a different track and then we shift back, right? <coughs> you are multidimensional. You are crossing over between parallel realities all the time. All realities are both simultaneous, simultaneous and parallel at the same time. They're happening at the same time. It's all happening, right? That's what deja vu means. You are having that feeling of having already experienced something because you have experienced it. Hear this. You have the feeling that you already experienced something because you have experienced it. And another part of you is already is experiencing it right now. That's what deja vu means. You're multidimensional. You're crossing over between realities all the time, between your moods and your feelings and your thoughts, right? We just don't, we, but, but, that, but our current 3D reality, our prominent reality, we could become stuck in because we move from, from, we have different thoughts and different feelings. We're all over the place with our beliefs and our unbeliefs, right? But if you believe in everything, if you suspend this belief, then you're open to the quantum field of possibilities. Consider this, the sudden thoughts and feelings of joy or fear, doubt or excitement, worry or love, don't just come out of the blue. Sometimes we go, oh, it just came out of the blue. I don't know where that came from. It doesn't just come out of the blue. You are feeling what an alternative or parallel you is feeling in another dimension. Hear this. They don't just come out of the blue. Remember, we live in a, a, ho a holographic universe. We live in a hologram. So we, the universe is all contained within us. The whole is contained within us. You're feeling another part of you, an alternative view on a parallel track in another dimension. That's why you have those sudden feelings or thoughts pop into your head, right? The universe is a hologram. Everything reflects the whole of creation in itself. That's oneness. You are a multidimensional being in a multidimensional universe, right? And here's the key, guys. To attract something we want or avoid something we don't want is to dissolve the barriers and obstacles that restrict us from seeing it. Hear this. The, I'm going to say this again. To attract something you want or avoid, and I have these meaning attract because we're not really attracting it, we're entering that reality. But, but using those concepts of love attraction, to attract something we want or avoid something we don't want is to dissolve the barriers and obstacles that restrict us or restrict you from seeing it. That's disbelief, dissolving disbelief, letting go of disbelief, and then you can see it. That's big. So, so what is the law of belief? It's not that you believe what you see, 
right? That old thing, that old, that old expression, I'll believe it when I see it. Rather, we see what we already believe, what you choose to believe. You see what you choose to believe. You see what you already believe. And the ancients gave us the law of belief. In Matthew, in, sorry, Mark 11.23, the ancients told us, Jesus told us what the law of belief is. Here's what he said. What's, what, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and cast in the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, does not doubt in that great subconscious, right, in your soul, in your heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, it will be granted him. That's the law of belief. Jesus laid the groundwork 2,000 years ago. The, 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 the ancients, they didn't say there's a law of disbelief. There's only one law. It's the law of belief, right? Whatsoever, if you say to that mountain, be taken up and cast in the sea, and you don't doubt it with all your heart, right? With that subconscious, that greater subconscious, that greater you, it, it's going to happen, right? And you believe it, it will be granted him. To believe, it, it, it really to believe is to believe in the belief, right? To believe in belief itself. That's what we're talking about. It's not about believing in your desire. It's not the desire that is believed in that manifests it. It's about your belief in the power of belief. Hear this. It's about your belief in the power of belief. It's believing in belief. By what? By suspending disbelief. There's only one law. That's the law of belief. This is big, guys. And so... I just want to, 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 to kind of capstone this with, with some quotes from Alice in Wonderland. Here's the door in Alice, right? What, what, why it's simply impassable. This is what the door says. Why it's simply impassable. And Alice says, why don't, why don't you mean impossible? No, I, don't, I, do, I do mean impassable. Nothing's impossible. And he chuckles. Hear this. This is the door to Alice. It, well, it's simply impassable. And Alice says, well, why? Don't you mean impossible? No, I do mean impassable. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. It might be impassable because of your disbelief. But remember, there's only the law of belief. Once you, once you dissolve that obstacle, then everything is possible, right? There's no, and this is Alice and the Queen. Alice says, there's no use in trying. There's no use trying. One can't believe in possible things. And what does the queen say? Why, sometimes I believe as many as six possible things before breakfast. That's what we're talking about, guys. That's how to suspend disbelief. There's only one law. That's the law of belief. There is no law of disbelief. When you believe it, you see it. And you see it because you believe it. I am your host, Tom Karen, And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, that's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter, Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com, at BeSomethingWonderful.com, or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.